So you're looking to build an HO scale Union Pacific excursion train and you might be asking yourself, which way should I go? Well, let's discuss that right now. If you would like to see more content from my channel, be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon to be notified of future videos. As you watch this video, I want you to keep something in the back of your mind. Always remember rule number one. It's your railroad and it's your layout. You can do whatever you want. And don't ever let anybody tell you otherwise. If you're a modern day modeler and you keep in mind rule number one, then you can have any type of excursion train on your layout that you want. I mean, if you look around, there are many modern day uh, railroads that are restoring uh, old locomotives, uh, passenger cars, and they use them for uh, business trains or excursions. Uh, so you see it everywhere. And as far as it being your railroad, hey, you can make your own excursion train out of whatever you want. When building a Union Pacific excursion train, you have to ask yourself two questions. How prototypical do I want to be? And how much money do I have to spend? If money is no object and you want to be as prototypically correct to the modern day Union Pacific business train or excursion trains, then the Walther's proto car out front will be your best bet. The Walther's Proto car out front here comes from their UP Heritage Series and it's a direct representation of the uh, Dome Diner car city of Portland. Now this is what you would see uh, pretty much on their modern day uh, business trains or excursion trains. It comes uh, ready to roll with all the detail parts already applied like your grab irons and everything like that already installed. Uh, you, you can get these lighted or unlighted. Uh, this happens to be a lighted version, which is generally a little bit more as far as price. Uh, but if you're looking to be prototypically accurate uh, for a modern day business or excursion train from Union Pacific, this is the direction you will want to take. And that will get you on your way of building uh, an excursion train that is accurate. But keep in mind, the proto cars are generally a little bit over twice as much as the Walther's mainline cars that I'm going to discuss a little later. But if you're looking for 100% or close to 100% prototypically accurate, then this is, like I said, the direction you want to take. If you happen to purchase an unlighted car and later on you would like to add lights to it, uh, Walther's does sell a lighting kit for these cars that you can install yourself. Another direction you can take, especially if price is a concern, are these Walther's mainline cars. Now these are not going to be your uh, prototypically accurate uh, representation of a modern day UP business train or excursion train. Uh, so if that's not a problem, uh, then this is an option for you. These uh, Walther's mainline cars are very affordable and they're a lot cheaper than the proto cars. Now these are uh, more of a uh, the bud style cars, uh, which is really not found on the uh, modern day excursion trains uh, or business trains from uh, UP. I believe there might be one uh, on that business train. I think it's the Willie James, but don't 100% quote me on that. But these are generally not the style of cars that you see. So if you're looking for something cheaper and you're not concerned about prototypically accurate, then check these out. There's a sleeper and there's a small window coach and these are a great bang for the buck, let me tell you. They still come with sprung diaphragms 
uh, but they do not come with any uh, separately applied parts already added. They do have drill starter points for grab irons and they do sell a uh, detail parts kit for these cars also separately. You can also purchase a uh, lighting kit for these cars just like the uh, proto versions. These cars also come with decals that's uh, specific to the style of car uh, such as the sleeper or the coach uh, with different numbers and names for the cars to make it actually an accurate representation of one of these cars. Which you would install in places such as here and here. They come with metal knuckle couplers and metal wheels. One thing I would like to point out with these uh, being a budget friendly car uh, the trucks are kind of a molded gray color not the traditional silver color that you would find on a, a UP passenger car. Uh, if it were me, uh, and I probably will do this, I think I will just uh, spray them quick with some uh, silver uh, paint uh, just to make them look a little bit better. Uh, but that's something you don't have to do, but it would be something quick and easy that would really uh, make these even uh, a better looking car. These cars also come with interiors inside them. That way if you decide to uh, install interior lighting in these, uh, you'll definitely have uh, something to look at. And with the included decals, along with maybe a little bit of research on your own, uh, you can find pictures of some prototypes of these uh, from back in the day, just as some reference uh, for your model. Another great thing with these cars, being the budget-friendly price they are, they would make great candidates uh, for modeling uh, private cars that you see trailing behind a lot of the passenger cars uh, on the tracks today. These cars provide an endless possibility uh, of options for uh, your railroad. The reason I wanted to make this video about these uh, Walther's Mainline UP passenger cars is because I'm currently in the process of building my own uh, UP business train uh, from the Walther's Proto cars and stuff like that. Uh, but I did happen to see uh, these Walther's Mainline cars come out and I definitely wanted to check them out for the price point. And for anybody, like I said, that's out there that's not looking for anything uh, prototypically accurate for modern day, uh, these are definitely uh, a great buy. Even if you want to mix them in uh, with your uh, modern day UP business train on your layout. Uh, say you only have a couple cars and you want to make it a longer train. Um, you can buy these and mix them in. Like I said, as long as you don't have the rivet counters uh, breathing down your neck and, and you don't care about it, uh, then it's perfectly fine. What did I say about rule number one? It's your railroad. Do what you want. Don't listen to anybody else if it makes you happy. That's it guys. I hope I provided you with some uh, information and some options. Uh, you can't go wrong with either direction you choose to take. Uh, that's your choice and uh, like I said, don't forget rule number one. It's your uh, railroad, it's your layout, uh, run what you want. Um, but you can't go wrong with Walther's mainline prices. I, I just, I say it all the time and uh, I stand behind that. Uh, so, hey, if you haven't checked these out yet, it's worth checking out. With that being said, that's all for this video. Take care, and I'll see you next time.